slipping. Yeah, that was good. Pin didn't break. Hi guys, welcome to another video. A few videos back, you would have seen us testing our prototypes of our wishbone. It's a new design we've been playing with. We still haven't perfected it. That first round gave us quite a lot of thought and we've since made some mods to the mold. As you've seen in the beginning of this video, we have already done some preliminary testing a few days ago, and now we're back with some minor changes to the way we assemble it. Um, whether this is gonna work or not, we have no idea. To set a baseline, we're gonna break some of our standard wishbones, which is currently done just with a knot. We leave the fluffy bit out so that there's room for slippage and uh, it can take more than adequate brake strain. So, let's get on to it. This is our standard off the shelf, ready to use wishbones. And then we're gonna compare it with our new design. There we go. We need about 45 kilograms to make it work. So there, that's the max you'd ever pull with the rubber. Let's take it further. A little bit of tensioning. You'd never pull this much with the rubber. And it's completely exposed here, so all the stresses are on the bead. Slowly starting to deform the bead. So that's like 160 kilograms. Remember, we're pulling individuals apart, whereas in a rubber, you have two ends. So you're doubling that figure. So there it forces the knot through the bead. So that is our standard wishbone. You saw there 70 to 80 kilos. Just out of curiosity, we're gonna try the softer line we use in our reels and let's see how that performs. They were already stronger than needed. Something's giving there. I think one of the beads have popped. Yes. The bead cracked. Now we're going to try the Dyneema cord that we have specially made for our wishbones. And this is set up slightly different in assembly than a normal, the, the previous test we've done. Just want to see how these do. Again, the bead failed. That's good to know. The material we're using is just a plain nylon. We can go to glass filled nylon that will strengthen it. This is just to see how well the standard nylons will work. Fairly similar again to our conventional wishbone. We've still got a lot of room to tweak and we'll keep tweaking these to make sure we have a better product if and when we do launch them. Out of interest, we're going to run one that's captured in rubber. Maybe the rubber will help support it and prevent this plain nylon from destructing.
So now we have it set up in rubber. It should pull the rubber over the bead as I stretch it. The rubber should, beads should seep well into the rubber. This might flick out because it's rubber. That's max, you would load it in a rubber. So we will be going back to the drawing board and keep tweaking this. And uh, one day we'll have a good product. This just shows you how much R&D we do. It can take sometimes years to get a product to the market. We're gonna just keep tweaking this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stand by for the next.